We have developing news to tell you right now. Out of low country schools, teachers and students returning to class for a very different back to school experience. News 2's Kate Prestack heard from experts about the challenges of virtual learning. Danielle Hensley was there as Berkeley County students started class. And Riley Benson got a tour of West Ashley High School today. Now, Riley, those who returned for in person instruction got their first look at some of these new changes. Yeah, Carol, that's right. The first day back to school since March for, saw many changes for students. A first day back to school for Charleston County students, unlike any returns before. Well, it's, it's finally here. We've been, we've been planning for it since March. Um, it's, it's just nice to finally have kids back in the building. West Ashley High School Principal Ryan Comeback says the building was able to welcome back roughly 20% of its students. So we have about 560 students in the building today out of our 1,857 that are assigned to us. Even though a small portion returned for in-person learning today, Comeback says more students are signed up to return for in-person learning in the coming weeks, a number still significantly below building capacity. We wish all of them come back, but we're just not at that period of time. A return for both students and teachers met with challenges and changes ranging from extra hand sanitizer, smaller class sizes and classrooms being utilized for both in-person and e-learning all the way down to the direction students walk the halls. This is a very very large campus and as you can see from the hallways everything is is one way um, so there's maps all over the place. And one of the biggest changes for students and staff face masks required at all times. Comeback says he's proud of the way changes have been met. This isn't what our, our typical high school teacher signed up for, you know, teaching in person and virtually, but I'm super proud of the way that they've just um, adapted and they've, they've been incredible. Patience and flexibility, things that come back say will be crucial for teachers, students, and parents alike to have a successful school year in 2020. We're, we're trying our absolute hardest, and, and, but more importantly, I just want them to know how appreciative we are of their patience, you know, especially with the at, at home, the technology. Now, Carolyn Comeback says parents and students shouldn't feel behind if they miss some information today. He says staff will likely go over the new changes and challenges again tomorrow. Live in studio, Riley Benson, Count on Two.